Um, this is Aaron. Welcome to, back to my channel. And um, my dad is going to be showing you how to set a fishing pole for walleye fishing. Hey everybody. Uh, thanks for looking at Aaron's YouTube channel. And today we're going to we're going to be doing some fishing in the Maumee River, and that's in Northwest Ohio. Florida. And it's, in, it's in Northwest Ohio, and um, what uh, what we like to do this time of year is there's a fish called walleye, the walleye, and they come out of Lake Erie and they go into the river, and uh, a lot of people go down to the river and fish for walleye. Well, I've got my fishing pole and my Aaron, you could show my tackle box. So I've got all of my fishing gear set up. And I want to get everything set up on my fishing pole. And I'm going to show you guys Wait, how to... Wait, can I say something? Yeah, go ahead. This video is being recorded on a phone. Okay. All right. So the first thing I want to do is I want to make sure that I have all the gear that I need. So, you know, I went to the bait shop or you could go to Walmart or any place that sells fishing equipment. You can go to any of those places and uh, get all the, all the things that you need. So you need, um, first of all, you need, uh, a, when you're fishing in the river, you're going to need, and walleye can get pretty big, so you're going to want a decent size test line. So, what I'm going to do first is we're going to do a we're going to do a setup and it's basically kind of like what they would call a Carolina rig. What is a Carolina rig? Well, Aaron Montgomery, I'm so glad you asked that question. Well, I'm going to show you right now what that is. So, what you can do this a couple different ways. And here's a sinker. And I there's different kinds of sinkers. Now, if you look at this sinker, it has on both ends a swivel. This is called a swivel. So I can. So what we're. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie my swivel, and there's there's like a pointier end and then a fatter end. Well, I'm going to tie my pointy end on first. Are you making fun of that sinker? No. You're calling it fat. Well, he's not. He's not fat. Fat. He's kind of fat, but not real fat. So I'm going to go ahead and tie that end on there real good make some knots now when you're learning how to do knots i'm just tying a basic knot here i'm not doing anything fancy but when you're doing when you're doing your knots um, there are actually really good knots you can learn how to tie that will hold your lures that will hold your sinkers your hold your swivels on really well but this one but you could so you could go you could go um, online and look up just type in the word in the, in the search bar type in the word fishing knots and they'll and they'll show you how to do that. So anyway, I'm tying this knot here. So how did you learn how to tie your knots? Uh, that's what I did. I went on I went on Google. Now, if you're a Boy Scout, you should know how to tie knots already because they teach you those kind of things in the Scouts. But if you're not you know, and you don't have like a grandpa or your dad or your uncle. Somebody knows how to fish. Will could teach you to tie knots too. But don't don't worry. There's lots of there's lots of women fishermen out there that really are good fishermen too. So shouldn't they call them fisher women? Fisher women, yeah, we'll call them fisher women. Okay, so I got my knot there, and um, like I have a little bit of excess string, fishing string. So I've got some nail clippers and I will clip that off. Can you, are you getting all this? Yeah, is I'm it getting it. Pretty good. Yeah, but so how clip. long is this video going to be? Like I don't know. so far you know? it's like 4 minutes. Okay, well let's hurry this up. Then. So then I have what we call if I can find it. That's oh, over here. Then we have what we call a leader line. This is an extra line that we make a leader out of. And so I'm going to tie this leader line to the other end of the sinker. Okay? Yep. There we go. Hopefully, Whoa. hopefully. I missed the hole. So. Hopefully, 
Hopefully this teaches people. Yes. So I'm going to take the other end and I'm going to run a leader line through there. And I'm going to make it some more good strong knots. Okay. Uh-huh. And, and maybe later you could show video of me fishing in the river. What do you think about that? I can't. Are you, are you focused? You're like, camera's like, you get a... Don't have one thing about YouTube channels. Don't have sloppy camera work, right, Aaron? Uh, I don't want focus to on your subject, right? Focus on the subject. Okay. Why don't you uh, show them like some? While I'm tying this knot, why don't you show them a couple of the lures that that we're that we're going to be doing using? Okay. Like I think what I'm going to use. For the lure Wait, I'm lures? Gonna, the lures that I'm going to start with would be, these are like plastic, what they call plastic baits. This one, they're, I call them twisty tails. They're sim very similar to what you would know as maybe a Mr. Twister. That's a brand of fishing lure, but we've got different colors. This is a chartreuse, which is sort of a green color. Are you, are you seeing this? Yep. Okay. And I have one too. Uh-huh. And Aaron, I think, has one that has a double tail on it. You want to show them that double tail? Yep. This is my double tail. Okay, it's got two tails on uh -huh. that. And here, let me spread one out and spread it out so they can see it. Okay. So when the, when the lure's going through the water, it makes, you know, the tails make a motion. And then the fish... Catches will, will the motion. Yeah, the fish will see, see the motion of the, of, the, of the twisting of the tails. Okay, and I have a bunch of different colors because when you walleye fish, sometimes walleye will, it seems like they will want to go, like I have a pink, I have a, I have pink, all different colors, that's what's kind of cool about fishing with lures and stuff, it's all the different neat colors, I have a brown, it's, do you want to hear an interesting fact about the dark colored lures? Sure. It seems that walleye... If it's overcast outside, it means there, there's cloud cover and the sun's not shining through. If there's, if there's a cloud cover, the walleye seem to, to go after the darker color lures better. And I think the reason they do that is because the shadows, the shadows that they cast. That's a theory of mine. I'm, I don't know uh, exactly. I'm not a fish, so I don't know if that's exactly the truth or not. So. Yeah, people are not fish. No, we are not fish. I like fish, and I eat fish, and I like to catch the fish, but I am not a fish. Okay, so there we have, can you see that? So this line on this side, look at over here, this line over here is tied to the line on my fishing pole. And this line over here is my leader line. And I want to make a leader... Oh, about, I'm going to say about maybe almost three feet. That looks like about close to three feet right there. So I'm going to, so it depends on the, on the what? leader that you make, the length of the leader depends on how fast the river is running. It depends how strong the current is. And uh, so that really makes a difference. So I'm going to get my nail clippers. You know the great thing about nail clippers is you can not only clip your toenails and your fingernails, but you can clip and use it to clip your fishing line. It's yeah. really safer than using a knife. Yeah. Okay. So now I am going to get my lure out. And I think what I'm going to do is, I think we're going to go with the chartreuse. So I'm going to grab a fresh chartreuse. And I've got what these are called floating floaters. <laughs> Not that kind of a floater. But a floater is a weightless, basically a, it's not a weighted jig head. So it's so it doesn't have any so it'll actually it'll actually float on top of the water. Okay? So I'm gonna take my I'm gonna take my jig head and I'm gonna thread it through the plastic bait like this. Are you getting this? Yep. And I'm gonna do this. And what's kind of cool about this too is you can mix and match colors. Like you can take a different color, like 
I, I don't have a ton of different color jig heads right now. I have, I have the yellow. I have like an orange. And then I have, right now I have like a, a white with pink eyes. But you can mix and match the bodies. See, there's a white with pink eyes. You see that okay? Yep. And uh, so now I'm going to tie this, and then we should be done. Let me... Uh, with the video? Well, we'll be done with, with making the... Because uh, so far the video is 10 minutes. It's 10 minutes? Yeah. And you're going to have to edit that down, huh? No, we don't have to. You don't have to edit it? We're gonna say, if it's an hour, we'd have to edit it down. Yeah, okay. Well, we're not going to do that. So, and, so anyway, guys, um, and gals, if you're... If you're a girl and you're watching this you're video, watching this video, hope you learned something. Yeah, so it's it's an it's an educational video, right? Why is a dog in a fishing video? Seriously, what's up with those animals? I know they're crazy dogs. They're everywhere. So, do you want to tell everybody about that dog that was just in the video? Well, that dog that was just in the video, she's a border collie mix. Her name is Coco.